everyone and welcome to Unreserved. I'm BJ Sheriff. Right now, I'm in the middle of Nagala jungle for day two with trekking with the ladies. <laughs> Go for pool three, guys. Follow me. Uh, these things are very slippery over here. The day two posted a tricky trek. We had narrow passages and the entire trip was going up and down a slippery passage. The girls had to push their limits as many of them were freshers. But everyone was enjoying the nature here. Take a look at those trees and this pure clean water. The girls were helping and motivating each other The girls were a bit nervous, but they were enjoying. The nature was giving them surprise and gift that they had never experienced before. After a long tricky trek, well, it's time to sit down and take a small break. Well, okay, this is the second day of trek. Girls are having a completely different experience over here. So I'll just start by asking her, what's your name? Ajita. And what do you do? Oh, I am a HR. HR. Super. Uh, how was this experience from yesterday? It was raining and we didn't make it and today we already crossed two pools in such a short time. Yeah, it's actually exhilarating to the core and I guess it's a lifetime experience. Yeah, that's it. What's your name? Amsa. Amsa, what do you do? I work with HP. Oh, okay. Uh, what, uh, are you a HR as well? Or? No, I work for Control and Compliances. I'm a CA. Okay, can I translate that in English please? I, okay, audit. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, finance. She's into finance. She's with numbers. Uh, how was the experience from yesterday, you know, not making a very good trail and today, like, we already hit two pools? Who said we didn't do a good trail yesterday? We did an awesome one. <laughs> it was loads of fun. Yeah, really? Yeah. But we just did a small one. We just went to the first pool and we ran back again. Yeah, the running back was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was true. Everyone was scared of the flash floods. I didn't the... know I, had, I could push myself beyond my limits. <laughs> Trust me, if there's flash floods behind you, you can push more than your limits. Anyways, alright, I think the third big pool is waiting. Shall we go? Sure. After a small break and getting our energy back, it's time to move on. The girls are in for a surprise as there are going to be a lot of obstacles that they are going to face right now. One of the obstacles that they had to go through over here was crossing the small streams. At times, we didn't have any other way and we are forced to wet our shoes. The heat was taking a toll on these girls. They were having a tough time and as if that wasn't enough, they had to go through this rough big boulders and a very steep climb. The girls were having fun as they were using all four and they were doing whatever possible to get on this steep climb. The heat was really taking a toll. But I had a few tricks up my sleeve. Get a good drink of water, wet your hat and wet your t-shirt. This helps to reduce the heat and the humidity. Keeping your body cool is a very important thing when you're running through this hot and humid climate. It's a hot day and all the girls are getting really tired. 
Now, one thing you got to keep in mind when you're tired is that you have to become extra careful. More you're tired, more easy for you to get injured. As this girl just twisted her ankle right here. A first aid kit always comes in handy. But remember, when you twist your ankle, it's not a very good idea to actually remove your shoe immediately unless and of course you want to apply a pain relief spray. It was really a very tough track for these girls. There were certain places they were finding it really hard to move on. But the guys, the sweepers and the helpers were helping them in each and every obstacle. Here you see the leader helping these girls in the small obstacle. There were many a point where these girls needed a little small help to keep their motivation high. It might be tough, it might be hard, but I'm pretty sure whenever the trek gets really hard, the end result comes out absolutely amazing. Well, jumping the big rocks is making me tired. You guys stay tuned because when I'm coming back, I and the ladies are going to hit the pool.